Hi everyone, my name is Miss Kathy and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Miami Township Library. And today I'm going to share with you two games that you can create at home to make subtraction fun. My first game is called Play-Doh Subtraction Smash. And for this game, all that you need is some balls of Play-Doh. You wanna get a number of these. Kids can have fun helping you prepare the game. And you'll also need some basic subtraction equation cards. Now, this is a good game to practice the skills of counting and number recognition. The first number is going to be the number to count, and the second number is going to be the number to smash. So in this case, five minus three, I'm going to count out five. And this is something that kids can do, this part they can do all by themselves. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna smash how many? Three, ready? One. Two, three. All right, so my results look like this. And it's a good idea to have kids say the whole equation out loud at the end. So five minus three equals one, two. And it's as simple as that. Just keep on going with more equation cards and more smashing. My second game is subtraction bowling. So for this game, we're going to need something to use as a pin. So I've got these small little solo cups. You could also use a Dixie cup or a larger solo cup. And you'll need something to use as a bowling ball. You could use a wiffle ball, a golf ball, bouncy ball, anything that you have at home. You could also use uh, toilet paper rolls for pins. And then you'll need to make some scorecards. And the scorecards are gonna hold your equations. And you can do these on the front and back. This is just a half of an index card that I used. Um, what you're going to want to do is leave three spaces for the numbers and then make an equals and a minus column to write out your equations. Okay, so the first number we know, but the second two numbers are a mystery until we play our game. It's a surprise. So the first number is the number of pins that you have here. So I have 10 pins, so I'm going to write down the number 10. And so this is a good game for kids to practice their number writing skills and also number recognition and counting as well. Now I'm going to see the surprise part is how many pins I can knock down. I do have my pins sitting on a container lid and you can also use a shallow box lid to contain your bowling alley. All right, let's see how many I can get. Okay, I knocked over three. So that's my second number in my column. 10 minus three. And then I count out the pins that are still standing for the final answer. 10 minus three equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is my final equation. And you can see I've been playing a few games here. You can fill up your entire scorecard and have fun. All right. Thank you so much for watching me today. I hope you have fun subtracting at home. Bye-bye.